When designing this production, the initial thought might be that there's no information to go on, or that design doesn't feature prominently. The truth is, design has huge, far-reaching potential in this play. Its job is not only to tell the story, but to bring out the themes and ideas in the play. As always, I would start by reading the play through thoroughly and making notes on anything that affects the design. This may be mentions of places, lighting, sounds, or props. Think about what elements of the design are necessary to facilitate the storytelling. How can design communicate more effectively what's happening? Also, with DNA, there's loads of room for abstract interpretation. Metaphor, symbolism, and non-figurative aesthetics can all be used here. Here are a few thoughts to take on board. How many repeated locations do we visit? How's best to show this? What images, songs, sounds, or colours spring to mind after reading the play? Collate as many images and ideas as you can. How can you use the scene changes to amplify the storytelling? How can you show time passing? How can you show offstage events happening? How might you show the energy or the mood of the group changing? What costumes will the characters wear? Will it be school uniform or their everyday clothes? Can costume help clarify character when some of them have less lines? Examine the text for details on the characters and then make costume choices based on facts and inspiration that comes from the text. What do you think are the themes of DNA? And how might you interpret these themes through design? I think this play has near infinite potential. Can you create tension, horror, shock, or fear, the darker emotions in this play, using color, sound, or design? How is the environment of the play different at the start to how it is at the end? What do you think's changed? Is it happier, darker, sadder, cleaner, purer, do you think the world has changed? When Adam is revealed in part three, how are you going to support this big dramatic moment with design? Are you going to use specialized makeup or costume? And finally, consider how much of your design you want to be simple but effective and how much you want to be elaborate and poetic. When does the story or the text benefit from you taking a back seat as the designer? Conversely, when could the piece benefit from bold choices and definite designer input? Remember to explore ideas and adjust them as you go. Offer ideas, try them out, and then take them away if they're getting in the way of the story. Make sure that you keep hold of those design aspects that empower and support the story. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please give it a like. Do check out these other videos and subscribe. And if you want to support what I do and the channel, you can click on the link in the video description. All the best.